Hello everyone, this is Blood King Tarot, and I am here to do an After Dark reading. This After Dark reading is for Capricorn. So I decided to do an After Dark reading for Capricorn. Um, you guys got the most views for today concerning the shorts that I did. Um, if you guys haven't already checked out the shorts that I did today, um, for um, it was a daily reading. For today, if you haven't already checked those out, you guys can still check those out. Um, if you already watched the short, I just want to say thank you guys and I really appreciate it. So, um, my after dark reading hours is from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So, um, today is Friday, September 15th. Um, if you guys go by a different time zone, then you can apply the timer as you see fit. But again, I go by, um, my after dark reading hours is from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. And, um, I forgot my candles. So, also, um, the Capricorn, um, this reading could also be for, um, other placements in your birth chart other than Capricorn Sun. So, this reading doesn't only have to resonate with Capricorn Sun. So, keep that in mind as well. So, um, keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that timing is fluid. So, this reading can manifest after dark hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line in time, after tonight. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading. That pertains to your past situation or circumstance. I also did a weekend reading as well. I did a weekend reading. So if you guys haven't um, watched the weekend reading yet, then that's available as well for the weekend. So you guys can go check that out as well. So um, Capricorn, I didn't get any messages for you guys on the pre-shuffle. So I'm going to just show you guys what's at the bottom of the deck. That I'm using. So we got the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Base Chakra. We have Forgive Yourself. Three of Cups. Signs and Symbols. Watch for the signs and symbols from the universe. 111. I am creative. We have From Death Comes Rebirth. I am Kali. We have Healing from the Past. Um, slacker and same shit, different day. All right, so somebody could be a, a slacker, Capricorn, you a slacker, or you're dealing with a slacker. Somebody could be bored of something, tired of something. So let me go ahead and jump to the reading. I'm gonna put you, um, all right, so. So, for the display cards, I'm going to put you guys your angel number for after dark hours tonight. And I'm going to also put you positive, a positive change you can expect between after dark hours tonight and tomorrow. So. All right. What's Capricorn's angel number? Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Or you could have Gemini placements. As well. What's Capricorn's angel number? Yeah, that Geminian energy. What's Capricorn angel number for after the hours tonight? What is Capricorn's angel number for after the hours tonight? All right, we have number 21. I am inspiring. <laughs> so after the hours tonight, Capricorn, this is the energy your angels have you in. You are inspiring. Number 21, break that down. That could be that's a three. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. So Capricorn, I heard, what you working on? That's what I heard. So Capricorns, what you work, I heard, what you working on? So Capricorn, somebody might ask you that after the hours tonight. Or Capricorn, you might ask somebody else that. 
All right. What positive change can Capricorn expect between after dark hours tonight and tomorrow? Positive changes. Religion and spirituality. So Capricorn, something going on concerning religion and spirituality. Positive changes. All right. Capricorn, for some of you guys, you might get some type of, um, what do, what's that word, um, an infamy, like some type of download or revelation concerning, um, spiritual, something, religious, something religious or spiritual, something like that. Somebody's not getting karma. If somebody was trying to give somebody, somebody karma, um, that's not going to happen after the was tonight. If somebody was worried about karma, that's not going to happen. So somebody could be worried about getting karma or something. Capricorn, if you was trying to give somebody else karma, it, it more than likely it's not going to happen. Capricorn, you could be doing something after dark hours tonight that's not right. Something that's not right or something like that. <laughs> Capricorn, you could have um, Sagittarius placements or you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah. Um, um, Capricorn, um, you might want to reference the after dark. I was reading that I did the other night. With um, Pisces versus Sagittarius. I'm kind of picking up the same. Um, the, that Sagittarius energy. I'm kind of picking that up now. And y'all reading Capricorn. So Capricorn you guys could be a Sagittarius. Or y'all dealing with a Sagittarius. So Capricorn just be mindful about being bossy. Um, or like a little judgmental. Towards someone. A person place or a thing after their hours tonight. Because you could be wrong. Or something like that. All right, give me a message for Capricorn after our office tonight. Or well, Capricorn, somebody wrong about you. Yeah, a wonderful idea, an aha moment. That came out in reverse. And then we have the past return for a time, number 42. So Capricorn, the number is 39, the number um, 93. The number 3 could be significant. The number 42, the number 40, the number 24, the number 7. I mean the number 6. Could be significant. <sighs> Capricorn, I also see you could have been coming up against someone and somebody else was coming up against you and both of y'all wrong. I'm picking that up too. It's like Capricorn, you wrong and this person wrong too. Or something like that. Capricorn, if you're teaming up with someone... Both of y'all wrong. So Capricorn, you could be teaming up with someone to come up against somebody. And both of y'all wrong or something like that. <laughs> I also just heard and saw Capricorn, you got it wrong in the past. And whoever this energy is right here, they getting it wrong after dark hours tonight. Or something. <laughs> or Capricorn, somebody is learning a karmic lesson that you could have learned in the past. Capricorn, somebody could be doing something. What's new to this person is not new to you, Capricorn. Something like that could be going on too. So someone is some type. Somebody got an idea. Something is not smart. Something is not new. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Capricorn, you could be dealing with a lover. You could be dealing with an ex. Yeah. The past returns for a time. So Capricorn, I'm picking up something that's not new to you. So Capricorn, something that happened in the in in your past in the past, you could be explaining something to somebody. Like whoever this person you're talking to, or whatever this is, it's like Capricorn. The past returns for a time for you. But you're talking about the past. But it's like this person thought something was new, but it's not new. 
Well, at least not new to you. Or it's like Capricorn, you could be hanging around somebody and it's causing you like a deja vu or you could be reminiscing. But something is not a good idea. Or Capricorn, you could be... um getting some type of success in something and this other person is not it's like capricorn you're moving forward and this other person is going to stay stuck in a karmic cycle or they're going backwards it's like capricorn you're being allowed to take a step forward and this other person has to stay where they at or they're going backwards or they have to take a step backwards <laughs> yeah capricorn somebody in your energy they don't want you to lose hope on them Autumn is this person last chance. This person you're dealing with, Capricorn, their life, their life path number could be um six. The number six could be significant. Or something like that. Yeah. Capricorn, you could also be encouraging someone. Because it's telling me you're inspiring. So you could be encouraging someone as well. This person could be in a little bit of trouble or um, or Capricorn. You could be gently gently rebuking somebody or something like that. But you're, you're inspiring to this person. Or you're giving somebody the right answer. Somebody could have got something wrong. And Capricorn, you're, you could be correcting something for someone or you're correcting someone. Concerning... Um, uh, um, love, work, or life. Capricorn, you could be correcting someone. Capricorn, for some of you guys, y'all could be teachers. And after our hours tonight, you could be, y'all could be college professors. And, um, Capricorn, you could be giving, like, one of your students, like, extra time. Like, after our hours tonight, you could be emailing back and forth with a student, one of your students. Um, or you could be correcting papers or something like that. Something. So y'all could be teachers as well. Or um, Capricorn, you could be volunteering your time to like tutor someone or something like that. Or this could be another co-worker or something. Or you have students or something, Capricorn. All right. What is Capricorn's major icon? I mean, yeah, major icon of after our hours tonight. Whew. Capricorn, um, you could Capricorn, you could be dealing with your children, someone younger than you, or you or you have students. Um, Capricorn, you're tired of repeating yourself, but you're gonna do it for the sake of your position. You're tired of re repeating yourself, cause I know I am. Yeah. Right, so Capricorn, your major arcana is the magician. So Capricorn, you can have Gemini or um, Virgo placements or you're dealing with a Gemini or Virgo. Now is a good time to begin some form of spiritual development. Yeah, and then we have religion and spirituality. Capricorn, you could be a spiritual leader of some sort too. Yeah. Somebody could be in clergy school, Bible school, Bible study, um... Or something like that. Or something. So Capricorn, you could be the student or the teacher. Some type of spiritual lesson or uh, religious lesson or teaching. So now is a good time to be to begin some some form of spiritual development. Or um Capricorn, you guys are going to the next phase in something. Concerning on religion or spirituality. You guys are the magician. All right. So, um, Capricorn, I also want to say the magician to me sometimes could be a DJ. So, Capricorn, um, you could be um, playing spiritual music, religious music, gospel music, um, or some type of spiritual music. This could be um, like frequencies, um, white noise. Um, soft noises, things like that. I heard echoes. Or Capricorn, you could be a DJ. And Capricorn, whatever you're doing after the hours tonight, if you're a DJ, 
the songs that you play is like you're channeling songs like at this party and um it's like you're mixing your intuition with your your traditional work so it's like spirit your angels your ancestors is giving you ideas they're giving you songs to play like something like that if y'all a dj or something i heard tonight is going to be a success I heard your um your playlist. I heard your playlist is blessed or something like that or is spirit led. So I don't know if the music is spiritual or not, but I heard your playlist is spirit led or your guides or something is telling you what music to play or things like that. Something. The magician could be a DJ to me sometimes. Okay, so All right, what's going on with um, Capricorn after dark? I was tonight. Oops. So we have prosperity begins, yeah. So Capricorn, for some of you guys, you could be graduating. Some type of schooling. It could have been a course, a refreshers course. um, Some type of musical license or you guys are a DJ or something. And prosperity begins. Um, Capricorn, whatever you're doing after our hours tonight, people notice you. They're taking note of you. People are asking for like references um, for you to do their party or their events. Or Capricorn, if you're some type of spiritual spiritual teacher or religious teacher, people are asking about you. They want your number. They want you to come... Um, Speak at their event, come to their party, a DJ their party, their event, things like that. So it's like um Capricorn, um, prosperity begins, whether you realize it or not. So if people is asking for your contact information, Capricorn, these people really gonna call you. And you guys are going to um collaborate and prosperity begins. So Capricorn, for some of you guys, this is the beginning of your success. Whatever you're doing after our hours tonight. Whether it's uh, you a DJ, whether you're playing spiritual music or traditional music, um, or you're some sort of uh, religious or spiritual teacher. Or I heard Capricorn people want to buy your content. <laughs> so Capricorn, you could be you could have wrote a book or something, or you have um, something uh, something. People, I heard people like your content. So you could be advertising like a book or a service that you offer or something like that. And Capricorn, if you don't get like a response that you think you should get, um, it's going to eventually start flowing in. Or something like that. So I'm going to give an example. Capricorn, say like you wrote a book and you're somewhere and you're doing book signing or you're advertising your book or you're promoting your book. It's like Capricorn, after dark hours tonight, it's like the people that's in the audience, they probably don't have the money to purchase your book, but it's like people is asking like for your business cards. So it's like the people that don't have the money to purchase your merchandise, when they get the money, they're going to get back to you or something like that. So um, Capricorn, you're inspiring. So if even if this, your prosperity begins, is not obvious, give something time. Like, I gave that for an example. It's like Capricorn is like, say like you got 20 copies of your book and only two people purchase. And it's like Capricorn, you might be disappointed, but give something time. It's like maybe most of the people that came to your event didn't have money or something like that. So it's like, but these people are going to get back to you. They're going to purchase purchase your book, whether they call you or um or something like that. Give some, I heard give something time. Because your prosperity do begin. It takes time for things to grow. Yeah. All right. What is um Capricorn's message from the guides? So Capricorn, don't be discouraged if you don't get the results that you wanted or expected. If the results is not good, 
Don't be discouraged because this prosperity is beginning. It begins after dark hours tonight. It might not come like as like a windfall. Just give something time. All right, what's um, Capricorn's message from the guys? Yeah, live your bliss. Yeah, so some of y'all is DJs or something. I'm also, I also heard Capricorn, you could be at a party and you could be a retired DJ and you're at a party and you could be inspiring like the DJ that's at the party. The DJ that's at the party could be younger than you, but it's like Capricorn, you're really, um, you're really amused at this DJ or something like that. So Capricorn, for some of you guys, you could be an OG or you're retired or something. But you're inspiring to someone. Whatever this is. To someone that's under you or something like that. So y'all can be retired. Whatever this is. So Capricorn, the guys want you to live your bliss. Live your bliss. Capricorn, for some of you guys, your bliss is teaching, helping, encouraging. People that's under you. Um, that's just starting in the positions that you've been there and done that. Or um, you helping your students or you uh, volunteering um, your services because you could be retired from whatever this is. So it's like you're volunteering your services um, to give people feedback and things like that. That's your bliss. Or listening to music or something like that could be your bliss. Live your bliss or something. And then we have victory and success at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> All right. What's going on with Capricorn after dark hours tonight? Yeah, strength. So Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Leo or you could have a Leo placement. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I keep saying I picked up that energy. Capricorn, this could be you right here. And this could be your like your student. Um, someone that's under you, you could be inspiring this person or you're like an earth angel to someone, Capricorn, this person right here, um, or something like that. Or Capricorn, you could be dealing with your children, but I, I'm picking up Capricorn. You're locked in. Like you're not going no more. You're not going anywhere because in the strength energy, they're locked in together. They're locked in. So Capricorn, you could be dealing with your kids or you've been with this company for so long. You're not going nowhere. You could be trusted. Somebody's going to always be a client of yours or something like that. It's like your clientele is going to be loyal to you or stuff like that. They're like woven in together. This is weaved in together or something like that. So Capricorn, you could be a mentor of some sort to somebody. Or a group of people or something. Or this could even be your children. Clarify strength. So Capricorn, I'm picking up your strength is being displayed after our hours tonight. Your strength is being displayed. This could be your knowledge. This could be your testimony. Um, this could be, um, you already said that. Your knowledge or your testimony or something like that. Your strength is being displayed in one way or another. Yeah, we got Ten of Cups. So Capricorn, you could be dealing with your spouse or um, your family, that Ten of Cups. Or something that you love. Live your bliss. This could be your work, your employment. Or um, Capricorn, I'm picking up some of you guys could be happily retired. And Capricorn, you be everywhere. You be doing everything. <laughs> y'all retired. <laughs> and y'all just be everywhere doing everything. <laughs> y'all know a lot of people. Y'all have a lot of friends. <laughs> it's like Capricorn. It's like some of you guys could be like preachers, uh, teachers. And then it's like, yo, it's like, and then you like a DJ. 
And it's like y'all do a lot. Y'all multitask or y'all wear several hats or something like that. Or something. Y'all could also be, I heard environmentalists. But um, what's this? What I'm picking up? Capricorn, what are you doing? You're um, not an inspector. Um, um, Capricorn, you get paid or you do this for volunteer. It's like you go places and um, you listen and you give people feedback. And that's all they want from you. And you get paid to do it or you get paid to give people your opinion. Or Capricorn, you could be like a, a pro producer or something. And somebody wants you to come and listen to their music or come to their show. And Capricorn, you you doing it. That's what you're going to do. Or something. If somebody invited you somewhere, Capricorn, you're going to go. It's like somebody wants your feedback or something like that from you. So this could be your spouse or your family member. Or something. Or your job, something you do for work and you love it. Ten of Cups. Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah. So Capricorn, whatever you do, this Ten of Cups made you who you are. Or you love being the Queen of Pentacles. Or it's like your spouse is the reason why you're the Queen of Pentacles. Or your spouse helped you get to this Queen of Pentacles status. Or your family helped you get to this Queen of Pentacles status. Or you're the Queen of Pentacles because you have children. You're married with children or you have children or something. And that's why you're the Queen of Pentacles. It's like Capricorn, you're saying, where would I be without the Ten of Cups? You're, t you're telling someone, where would I be without your services? Where would I be without... without um? Yeah, something. So, this is like somebody saying, Oh, Capricorn, thank you so much. And Capricorn, you saying, no, thank you. Like, something like that. Like, an equal give and take. Like, something like that. The Queen of Pentacles. Or Capricorn, you could be dealing with another Earth sign, such as yourself. We got Water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah. So, something like that going on, so. Whew. Yeah. Or, um, Capricorn, your spouse could be a Leo, or your child is a Leo, or this person that you're helping is a Leo. Or something. Capricorn, you definitely that Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, you could be strength, too. But that strength energy could be somebody else. All right. What's this spell with um or Capricorn or Leo is your family member or y'all married to a Leo. Or your student is a Leo or something like that. What's this spell with strength? Yeah, crying over someone. Oh. So some type of grief counseling. Capricorn, I see this Leo energy might start crying. Or Capricorn, it's like you could be talking to someone. And it's like Capricorn, you want to cry, but you're not going to cry. Or Capricorn, if you start crying, you're going to stop. Like immediately. Like, it's like you're going to get yourself together. You're going to pull yourself together. So, I don't know what you're talking about to someone. So, this is some type of grief counseling. Or Capricorn, you're talking to someone about something. About uh, something you've been through or something. So, I'm going to give an example. Capricorn, say like you a teacher. And you're dealing with your student. And Capricorn, um, it's like... Your student is having a meltdown. And it's like Capricorn, because your student is going through something, it's making you think back to when you was in school. 
And it's like, Capricorn, you're going to start crying or something. Um, and you're going to have to pull yourself back together. So, Capricorn, say like one of your students, they in school and they going through a breakup or somebody in their family passed away. And it's like, Capricorn, you might say that's a part of it, but you got to keep going. You got to stay strong. Don't quit. And it's like, Capricorn, you telling this person, when I first started school to become a teacher, um, Capricorn, you might tell this person, I was going through a divorce or my family member passed away too. Like something like that. It's like Capricorn, somebody else crying over someone is making you cry over someone. But it's something pertaining to your past. It's like you can relate to the struggle or something like that or what this person going through. <laughs> or Capricorn, you talking about something and it's making you cry or something. What's the spill with the Ten of Cups? Oops. So there's no divorce. Divorce just flew on the floor. So there's not going to be a divorce. There's not going to be a breakup. Severing ties or something like that. So Capricorn, this could be you wanting to quit, give up. Or Capricorn, somebody's coming to you and they're telling you, I want to quit. I want to give up. And Capricorn, you might say no, no, no. The struggle is a part of it. You can't give up. Or something. Or something like that. Or Capricorn, I'm picking up somebody was about to give up until they saw you. Or until you came. Or something like that. Somebody was thought about to give up. Capricorn, this could be your child or something. Or your somebody you're mentoring. Or your spouse or something like that. That's what I heard. Capricorn, somebody was about to give up until you came or until you showed up or something Capricorn I'm also picking up you be so busy that um Capricorn somebody your spouse or your family member feels neglected because you be so busy but Capricorn something is paying off because it's like Capricorn, as soon as your spouse was getting ready to divorce you, or as soon as your child was getting ready to like reach their wits end with you not spending time with them, it's like Capricorn, it's like you get a break at work and the prosperity begins. So it's like now you can slow it down and spend more time with your spouse or your kids. Somebody could have been at a breaking point with you, Capricorn, not spending time with them or something. But something's going to pay off. So I'm going to give an example. Capricorn, say like you always at work. You go home and then you leave back out. And your child was preparing to run away. It's like Capricorn, your child told himself, if my mother or if Capricorn, if my mother or father come home and they come home and leave back out, I'm leaving and I'm not going back home. It's like Capricorn, it's like when you go home after the hours tonight, you're not going to leave back out. You're going to stay home. So it's like your child like, cool, okay long as mommy or daddy here, I'm not going to run away or something like that. Or Capricorn, your spouse was at their wits end with you and they was going to divorce you. But Capricorn, you was working on something. And that's why you probably could have been neglecting your spouse or your family. You was working on something. Capricorn, somebody was about to leave you or something. I see that too. Somebody was about to leave you or somebody getting tired of you. Like neglecting them. Somebody feels neglected or something or somebody don't feel appreciated by you or something. Something. What's this spell with the Ten of Cups? Confident. Yeah. What's this spell with the Queen of Pentacles? This prosperity could also be talking, conversating venting getting it out getting getting it getting it off your chest so capricorn you might have like a, a sit down uh with someone and prosperity begins it's like you guys gonna have you gonna you guys gonna, gonna talk it out or whatever this is 
Third party interference. This could be another lover, friend, or meddling family. I also see Capricorn. You have a business partner. And your business partner's spouse. Capricorn, I don't know if this is true or not. Initially, I'm picking up is not true. Um, but Capricorn, your business partner's spouse is going to confront you after our hours tonight. Because they think you're messing around with their with your business partner. And this person can't take this no more. Capricorn, somebody gonna ask you something. Because something could just be too good to be true. Or Capricorn, somebody saying, no, you not that professional. Bump all that. You No, nah, you ain't that professional. You messing around with so-and-so. So Capricorn, your business partner could be like the opposite sex of you. And y'all together all the time, every day. And Capricorn, maybe your business partner go home every night and tell their lover, I'm not messing around with Capricorn. I'm not messing around with Capricorn. It's professional. So, Capricorn, your uh, business partner's lover is going to ask you. They're going to ask you. Yeah. So, Capricorn, somebody want to know if you the third party. If you messed around with their spouse or something. Or something. Yeah. Or Capricorn, it's your spouse that think you messing around on them with your business partner. Or <coughs> it's like Capricorn, you work too much. And it's your spouse or somebody think you cheating on them. Or Capricorn, your kids feel as though you don't love them or something like that. All right. Capricorn, for some of you guys, Capricorn, for some of you guys, while you're out and about after dark hours tonight, Capricorn, it could be somebody that's messing around with your lover. Your lover could be messing with somebody that's married. Or Capricorn, your lover could be messing around with somebody in your family. So, Capricorn, you could be strength, and it could be another earth sign. Don't have to be. It's like the third party is the queen of pentacles. I also see, Capricorn, whether you a male or a female, if your spouse or lover is cheating on you. It's like, Capricorn, this person is already the queen of pentacles, and you're on the verge of being becoming the queen of pentacles. So it's like Capricorn, somebody could, uh, your spouse or lover could be cheating on you with somebody who already have what you're trying to obtain. I see that too. So it's like Capricorn, after I was tonight, your strength, not necessarily the queen of pentacles just yet, but your strength, you're being strong, you're maintaining, you're doing what you have to do to become the queen of pentacles or something like that. Or Capricorn, it's like, if this is not your lover or spouse cheating on you, this is like somebody in your family gossiping about you or something. It could be your friends talking about you or like your family or something. Or something like that. Or something. But Capricorn, the guys is telling you to live your bliss. Capricorn, it could just be people gossiping about you after their hours tonight. Because you doing you, your work, or you work too much. And maybe your family, your kids and stuff is mad at you or something like that. <laughs> or it's like, Capricorn, do you live your bliss? Capricorn, for some of you guys, you could be in a karmic relationship. And it's probably known that your lover is cheating on you. And Capricorn, your lover is saying, oh, I cheat on you because you work too much. Capricorn, the guys is saying, after dark hours tonight, go to work, live your bliss, do you. Because in reality, Capricorn, your karmic spouse would cheat on you 
whether you work too much or not because that's who your karmic spouse is that that's what they want to do they want to cheat or they're a cheater so the guys is telling you live your bliss do you because who, whoever your karmic lover is or this karmic spouse they're saying oh i do this to you capricorn i offend you because of this or because of that capricorn that's not true for some of you guys this person that like whatever they're doing like behind your back or something this person would their reasons for offending you is not justifiable or something like that. So the guys are saying, live your bliss anyway. Live your bliss. Or something. Or something. Um, Capricorn, for some of you guys, you could be the queen of pentacles. And you're the third party. You could be somebody's friend and you're the third party. Meaning, it's like Capricorn, somebody wants your opinion. And you're the third party or something. Or something like that. So, this doesn't have to be like deception and cheating. This could just be uh, somebody wants your opinion. So, somebody is saying, we're going to have Capricorn. I'm going to ask Capricorn. If Capricorn says it's a yes, it's a yes. So, it's like Capricorn, you the third party. Or something like that. It's like two other people told this person yes, and this person like, no, where's Capricorn? I want a third opinion, or if Capricorn say it's a yes, it's a yes, or something like that. So, Capricorn, this could be you interacting with friends or something, colleagues, and things like that. Or Capricorn, some type of investments is going on. Because this Queen of Pentacles in this picture, she's walking. She's on her way somewhere. So, Capricorn, you the third party or you the third person that somebody needs. You could be the last vote somebody needs. Capricorn, somebody could be waiting for you to show up somewhere to pay your half of the money or whatever this is. Or Capricorn, you're paying for something for someone or something. So, you could be somebody's friend. Or something. Well, Capricorn, I don't know if you could be bonding somebody out of jail after dark hours tonight. I see that too. Capricorn, somebody could be mad at you. Somebody wanted somebody to stay in jail. And Capricorn, you interfering. You like, I'm the queen of pentacles. I got the money. So-and-so getting out of jail tonight. Or something like that. And Capricorn, somebody could be upset at you. Because you bonded somebody out or something. Or something. That Queen of Pentacles going somewhere. <laughs> that Queen of Pentacles walking. She ain't sitting down. Or something. And Capricorn, you ain't cold neither. <laughs> that, that Queen of Pentacles got on like a nice coat. I don't know what type of coat that is. That Queen of Pentacles is not cold. <laughs> It's like whatever that Queen of Pentacles wearing, it's like the Queen of Pentacles don't got no shoes on, but it's like pfft, that Queen of Pentacles not going to get sick or something like that. <laughs> that is a big cold. Or Capricorn, you saying to somebody, this is what I do. Don't worry about what it look like. This is what I do. Don't worry about I don't got nothing on my feet. This is what I do or something. Or something. Or Capricorn, I also see that Queen of Pentacles. It's like Capricorn, you walked this path so many times. It's like Capricorn, this path is like, it. this path caters to you. I don't know what this is. It's like something is not cold to you. Or Capricorn, I don't know. Capricorn, I don't know if you could be dealing with lovers or haters. And Capricorn, it's like you... You, you've been hated on so many times or all your lovers cheated on you. It's like Capricorn, that ain't cold to you. Like, or something. Something is not new to that Queen of Pentacles. That Queen of Pentacles, that Queen of Pentacles got on a hat. That Queen of Pentacles is protected. 
That Queen of Pentacles, the only thing the Queen of Pentacles don't got on is shoes on their on her feet. And that could be for like a coping mechanism. Like it's like the Queen of Pentacles so warm. If the Queen of Pentacles put shoes on, the Queen of Pentacles is gonna overheat. So it's like the Queen of Pentacles walk barefooted because everything else so covered is so protected. It's like Capricorn, something that appears crazy to somebody, it's what keeps you stable. It's like somebody don't know why you do what you do, but that's what keeps you stable. That's what keeps you balanced. It's like if you put on some shoes with this big coat, all this protection, it's like Capricorn, you might fall or you're going to overheat or something, something like that. Or something. So Capricorn, live your bliss. That Queen of Pentacles energy. Or something. Or Capricorn, you're aware that somebody is making a fool of themselves. Yeah. Capricorn, you could be crying over someone. That's um confident to come up against you. And this person could be a third party. Yeah. Capricorn, you could be crying over someone because somebody got something twisted. Yeah. Capricorn, somebody's wrong, but you care about this person or you're having mercy on this person. And this person could be your lover, your friend, or your meddling family. This person a third party because they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, and that's why the guys is telling you to live your bliss, um, Capricorn. Because somebody don't know what they're talking about. Or Capricorn, somebody making fun of you or something. And they don't know what they're talking about. Or something. What's the school with the uh with strength and crying over crying over someone? Yeah, codependency. Yeah. Yeah, Capricorn, for some of y'all, you know that somebody uh, is offending you. Somebody's disrespecting you or something. It's Capricorn. It's something that you know or something. Or you're restricting yourself from like a codependent relationship or you're restricting yourself from being codependent on someone. Or Capricorn, it's like, Capricorn, I don't know if you're... Capricorn, you might... Capricorn, it could be you. You want to cause, you want to cause or initiate a divorce or breakup. But it's like Capricorn, you're going to restrict yourself after dark hours tonight. You might not do it after dark hours tonight, but Capricorn, you gonna end up causing a divorce or breakup or something. So Capricorn, say like you a teacher and you dealing with your student, and your student she's married and her husband is cheating on her. Capricorn, you're going to tell this woman, I'm 50 years old. I'm older than you. And my husband still cheat on me. That's how men are. Like something. It's like Capricorn, you could be talking to someone younger than you. Capricorn, you could be in your 40s. And you're dealing with a 20-year-old. And this woman could be married. Or Capricorn, you could be talking to your daughter. And Capricorn, you telling your daughter, your father used to cheat on me all the time. Like, that's how men are. That's the way it is. Or something like that. Something. Something. Somebody is aware of the third party. Or somebody being disrespectful. Whether it's a family member or not. Somebody's aware of some type of disrespect. Or Capricorn, somebody is going through something that you've been through in the past. And it's making you reminisce. And you might start crying too or something like that. What's the spill with the Ten of Cups and Confident? Yeah, purify your energy and aura. <laughs> yeah. Capricorn, you might have to purify your energy and aura of like a spouse or like a family member or something. Capricorn, somebody could be so confident that they can defeat you or 
It's like Capricorn, somebody so confident that you don't know, this person don't realize that you've been new. <laughs> or something like that. And Capricorn, you're not saying nothing or something. <laughs> so Capricorn, you could be restricting yourself from family <laughs> or your spouse or something. <laughs> Or Capricorn, you could be somebody's fiance. And Capricorn, you restrict yourself from being the queen of pentacles, from getting married. Because you know your lover is messing with somebody else or messing with one of your family members. And Capricorn, you like, I'm not marrying you and you messing with my ten of cups. <laughs> it's like Capricorn, if you marry this person, you won't be the third party. Or something. Something like that. It's like Capricorn, somebody don't know that you know something or something like that. <laughs> this is kind of like funny. I see um, Capricorn is something that you're aware of that you haven't told nobody. But it's like Capricorn, whatever you're doing after our hours tonight, you're going to tell someone. Like just to get it off your chest. Or uh, something. Yeah. Somebody going through something like you going through something, Capricorn, and you telling this person, you're not the only one. I'm going through it too, or something like that. And Capricorn, your spouse or your family don't even know that you know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Somebody think they being slick or something like that. And yeah. Or Capricorn, you're teaching someone how to hold their composure. How to interact with haters or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of funny, Capricorn. This is funny. It's like, Capricorn, you might be crying talking to this person. And it's like, Capricorn, you might say, like, you the only one I know. You the only person I told. You see how strong I am? I ain't tell nobody. Don't nobody know I know. And Capricorn, this person like, what? It's like you're inspiring somebody, like, how to be strong or something like that. <laughs> or Capricorn, somebody going to realize that you got it worse than them. That their situation is not as bad compared to yours or something like that. <laughs> What's the tea with um, the Queen of Pentacles in third party situation? Yeah. Yeah, desire. Someone is desiring you. Yeah. 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 So Capricorn, someone is desiring you. Or Capricorn, do one of your family members like you or something? <laughs> somebody could be crazy. Capricorn, somebody in your family could be crazy. <laughs> It's like Capricorn, somebody in your family got like their own, uh, has a, a imaginary relationship with you. This could be your family. <laughs> Capricorn, you could be dealing with somebody. Um, Capricorn, you could be dealing with somebody in your family who has mental health issues and you running into somebody after dark hours tonight that's going through it too. And Capricorn, you telling this person, yours, your situation ain't as bad as mine. It's like Capricorn, you saying, I have a cousin or I have a nephew or a niece who um, goes around and tell people we're dating or something like that. It's like Capricorn, you telling somebody your story or something. <laughs> somebody crazy. Yeah. Uh, something. It's like Capricorn, you, Capricorn, you're trying to purify your energy and aura of somebody. So it's like you might restrict yourself from the Queen of Pentacles. Or you don't want to be the queen of pentacles or you're going to be the queen of pentacles how you want to be the queen of pentacles. Not how this person is telling you to be the queen of pentacles. Because somebody could be desiring you that's not supposed to be desiring you or something. <laughs> I heard Capricorn live your bliss and see how the night goes and watch how something unfolds. It's like Capricorn, you and this person gonna have a moment. And Capricorn, even if it's not the other person that start that might start crying, Capricorn, you might start crying. Cause it's like y'all talking about life or 
something to pertain to like when you combine life with spirituality or combining life with religion. Like something like that. So y'all having real life conversations with somebody Capricorn. Something. So Capricorn, I'm here and live your bliss and see how it go. I heard, watch how this go. Watch how this turn out. Capricorn, it could be something that spirit wants you to talk about. And you, you need to talk about this. Tell somebody. And you're going to end up telling somebody or talk, telling the right person who spirit wants you to vent to or something like that. All right. What's the team? What's going on with um, strength, codependency, and crying over someone? Yeah, screenshots, getting evidence, proof, and facts. Yeah. Well, Capricorn, you know somebody trying to set you up or something. Or Capricorn, you got proof that somebody was doing something. And it's like, Capricorn, you like, I'm restricting myself. I'm not something, Capricorn. Capricorn, you could be crying over someone because you have um evidence, proof, and facts. Or Capricorn, you're crying over someone because you can't believe that this person is trying to get evidence, proof, and facts against you. Or something. And this person don't think you know or something like that. <laughs> or something. What's the tea with the Ten of Cups, Confident, and Purified? Forcer. Force, forces things on you, yeah. Forces their way and uses force to get what they want, yeah. 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 So this forcer energy to me could be somebody um uh, that does dark magic. This is not spell word. This is dark magic. This is somebody that conjures, um, yeah. Um, so Capricorn, Spirit wants you to purify your energy or aura of someone who does um, dark magic on you. Um, Capricorn, if you a man, be careful. This is preventable. Capricorn, if you a man, it could be a woman. She could be an earth sign like you. This woman ain't no good. It's like this woman want to have intercourse with you and then afterwards... Say that you raped her. So Capricorn, you could be wealthy or something. Or you're well known. Somebody could be crazy. It's like this woman or something. It could be tempting, but it's not worth it. This woman might try to accuse you of raping her or something. Or Capricorn, you can't believe your own wife accusing you of raping her or something. Or your family or something accusing you of raping them or something like that. <laughs> it's like Capricorn, if you a man, this female... She could be a lover, an ex-lover, or like your family member. And Capricorn, you could be telling another man, check this out. It's like Capricorn, you telling another man that this woman accused you of rape. Capricorn, you could have did time for this and everything. And it's like Capricorn, you're going to show this dude your phone. You're going to be like, look who calling me. Look, look, look at this. So it's like Capricorn, you and another guy could just be talking about how crazy women are. Or how grimy women are or something. It's like Capricorn, this woman that accused you of rape or her, she desires you or something. <laughs> something going on. Or something. Or something, yeah. Capricorn, y'all be mindful of a woman accusing y'all of rape or something. Or it's like Capricorn, if a woman, a female accused you of rape or her in the past, this female going to reach out to you. And Capricorn, that's when your prosperity is going to begin. So, it's like Capricorn, if you had to pay this woman, she going to end up having to pay you back. Because it's going to be proven that she's not afraid of you, that you did not rape her. Because if you raped her, why is she reaching out to you? Why is she texting you? How do you know that this woman is desiring you? So, it's like Capricorn, say like you did time for raping this woman and then on top of you having to do time, 
you had to pay this woman like ten thousand dollars. It's like Capricorn after dark hours tonight. You're gonna get evidence that this woman ain't no good. She's not afraid of you. You did not rape her, and you gonna start the court process probably on Monday. And you gonna win your case, and this woman gonna have to pay you back. So if you had to pay this woman ten thousand, she gotta give you back the ten thousand for accusing you of raping her, or something, <clears throat> or something like that. I'm also picking up Capricorn for some of you guys. If this female accused you of rape, it didn't go to like 3D court. It didn't make it to court. It could have been like rumors and stuff going around, like in y'all town where y'all live at. It's like Capricorn. Um, this woman lying on you could have ruined your reputation. Nobody wanted to hire you. Um, you could have lost the respect of your children, uh, your family. Um, after dark hours tonight, Capricorn, you're, you might have proof or something that this woman, you didn't rape her. She actually likes you. And it's like Capricorn, prosperity begins for you. It's like people going to be talking. It's like Capricorn, you could be showing somebody the text messages, showing somebody proof that you did not rape this woman. She likes you. She chased you. And it's like Capricorn, somebody going to go and tell somebody else and show somebody else and... It's like Capricorn, the people in your town going to stop shunning you because they know this woman lied on you. So it's like your prosperity begins because it's like somebody going to find out somebody lied on you or something like that. So Capricorn, give something time. So Capricorn, if you tell somebody one thing in like in confidence, this person going to go tell everybody that so-and-so lied on you or something. Or something. Capricorn, you could be talking to your homeboy and you like, look at this. This girl keep calling me. And remember when she kept saying I raped her? It's like Capricorn, when you show your homeboy, he going to go tell his grandmother, his mother, his aunt, his uncle. He going to go tell everybody. It's like everybody in town going to know this woman lied. Or something. Or something like that. Or something. Um, Capricorn, for some of you guys, y'all could be married and your husband, he rapes you. So it's like, what do you do in a situation like that? Some of y'all could be very religious or y'all something to do with spirituality. Um, it's like, what do you do when you're married? And it's like your husband, he, he, he rapes y'all or something like that. Or something. So some of you guys, Capricorns, y'all could be in a dilemma. Like how to deal with spousal spousal rape or marital rape or something like that. Or something. Or spirit wants you to re, uh, purify your energy and aura of a forcer. This could be somebody doing dark magic on y'all. And it could be your spouse or family member. Mm-hmm. Um, Capricorn, for some of you guys, I'm also picking up, you might get more involved in, in something pertaining to spirituality or religion because it's like Capricorn, you have proof that your family member or your spouse is doing dark magic on you. So y'all could be looking for help or something or guidance or somebody's coming to you for help or guidance. Yeah. Some it's somebody out here that's dealing with spousal 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 rape, spousal marital rape or something. Or something. Yeah, something like that. So Mhm. Mm Or Capricorn, you could be meeting up with a private investigator. And this private investigator got um, evidence, proof, and facts for you about who the forcer is. 
And it could have been somebody that was desiring you or Capricorn. You're going to find out it was your own spouse or own lo lover doing this to you or something. Some of y'all could have hired in, uh, in pri a private investigator about something. I'm also picking up um, Capricorn. Something could have been going on with you or something happened to you. And you could have been thinking it was someone like a religious person or someone that's into spirituality. And Capricorn, you're going to find out that it wasn't this person. So, I'm going to give an example. Capricorn, say like you go to church. And somebody stole from you or something. I don't know. And Capricorn, you like, if I find out it was somebody at the church, you know, that's why I don't go to church. People that go to church is hypocrites. I'm going to hire me a private investigator. If I find out with somebody at the church, you know I'm done. It's like Capricorn, when you hire this private investigator, it's going to turn out that it wasn't like somebody that went to this church or something like that. So it's like something might change for the better for you pertaining to religion or spirituality. Or Capricorn, you could know a known practitioner and you know somebody else that's it's like Capricorn. Say like it's two people in your family. One of the people in your family, you know for sure this person a practitioner. Everybody know this person a practitioner. It's another person in your family. You might find out after the hours tonight that they're a practitioner, but they was keeping it a secret. It's like the person that kept something a secret, that's the one that offended you. It wasn't the person that that's open or out in the open with something. Or something like that. It was somebody that was keeping something a secret. Or something. Yeah. And this person can have a spiritual title. Or a religion title. Or a religious title. Or something like that. Or something. <clears throat> I'm also picking up Capricorn. You're talking to someone. And you're telling someone you cannot jump to conclusions. You have to go get evidence before you accuse anybody of anything. So Capricorn, I heard that that's going on too. Capricorn, you could be talking to somebody. And you're telling somebody that's not how you can't do that like that. You have to get evidence. You have to know for sure. Or something, Capricorn, you giving somebody some advice. Or something. All right. What's the scoop with um this uh prosperity begins for Capricorn at the door of side? What's the scoop with this? Yeah, this phase will soon end. Yeah. So Capricorn, I'm picking up your your prosperity beginning. It might be delayed because somebody doing spell work on you. Or Capricorn, your prosperity beginning, beginning, it got delayed because somebody was accusing you of raping them or something. Or so, this is some type of manipulation, control tactic, or literally dark magic. Or somebody raped someone. Or Capricorn, some it was like people in your community didn't want to work with you because you could be a victim of rape. So it's like people shunned you. They didn't want to hire you, like something. But this phase will soon end. Somebody could could have been doing um spell work on over y'all um finances or something, or some type of accusation could have held up your prosperity or something. But this will soon come to an end. Yeah. Or um, I'm picking up uh Capricorn. Something is only for tonight. It was for a reason. Like something is only for tonight or something. Ooh, yeah, split personality, yep. So Capricorn, somebody was being two-faced towards you. Acting differently around you and the next person, not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people. Capricorn, for some of y'all, y'all hire a private investigator and y'all, um, um, yeah, y'all might get the results or something. You wanted to know why somebody was behaving with a split personality or... You gonna find out why somebody was being two faced or something. I also
also see um, Capricorn for some of y'all. If somebody end up in jail after I was tonight, you're going to let this person stay in jail. Because this is the person that was doing spell work on you. And Capricorn, while this person is in jail, this spell they put on you is going to wear off. And that's one of the reasons why this person going to jail. Because they were doing spell work on you and they got to wear off. Yeah, you could have been dealing with a narcissist. This y'all spouse or family member. Yeah, this person was your impersonator. Or somebody your spouse was sleeping with or something. That was doing the most jacking up your finances or something. What's the tea with uh, phases and split personality? What's the tea with this? Yeah, grudge holder. Yeah. Or well, Capricorn, you might have a conversation with your spouse or your family member at the dark hours tonight. Because somebody was holding a grudge. Capricorn, somebody was either hating on you. And they might um, let it... Uh, Capricorn, I don't know. So, something was a misunderstanding. Um, Capricorn, for some of you guys, somebody was hating on you about something that's not even true. So Capricorn, somebody could have been thinking you was messing around with their lover or something. And y'all might talk about it after our hours tonight. Or Capricorn, you might realize that your spouse or your family member could have mental health issues. Whatever they come and ask you. It's like, Capricorn, you're going to start crying. You're going to say, how could you think I did something like that? Or something. Capricorn. Yeah, somebody was holding a grudge. But this phase will soon end because the truth is going to get revealed. Or Capricorn, if you a man, your family or your lover, they could have been disrespecting you because you wasn't working or you didn't have no job or you didn't have money or something. So Capricorn, if you a man, this could be your wife or something. Or Capricorn, if you a man, this could have been your wife, father. He could have been doing something to you because you wasn't taking care of his daughter or something. This could be somebody's father doing something to you. Or something. Yeah, but um, Capricorn, somebody holding a grudge, a grudge against you, that will soon come to an end. Or the person that was holding a grudge was the one that was doing dark magic on you. Or was telling people you raped them or something. Yeah. So somebody going to stop acting a fool. Because Capricorn, this person going to either end up in jail or this person going to realize that they didn't know what they was talking about concerning you. Or you were innocent or something. So this grudge holder going to stop acting a fool. Whatever they was doing to you Capricorn. Being cooped up in their room. Not socializing. and Being a hermit. Not on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody going to fall back. This person not going to completely fall back. But they going to fall back. So, Capricorn, I'm picking up. Somebody could be a little bit ashamed of themselves. So, I'm going to give an example. Like, Capricorn, it's like this person um, might stop hanging around you. It's like this person will call you, but they won't hang around with you. Because they could be ashamed of themselves. So, this person is not going to completely leave your life. But they're going to, like, um, put, push their energy back from you. Because somebody could be ashamed of themselves. Capricorn, somebody could have been falsely accusing you of something. Or they had something wrong. This could have been your your uh, your co-worker's spouse who thought you was messing around with them. With your co-worker. And Capricorn, this person going to be ashamed of themselves. But it's like they still going to be your friend, but they going to back off. So Capricorn, for some of y'all, this could have been somebody you was interacting with every day. Or somebody you saw every day. And the whole time they was coming up against you. And when this person find out that they were wrong, it's like, this person not going to want to hang around you, Capricorn. They'll probably still call you or text you, but this person not going to want to hang around you or something. Yeah, somebody a little ashamed of themselves or something. Yeah. Or something. So Capricorn, live your bliss after our hours tonight.
on Capricorn, I'm also picking up Capricorn for some of you guys. Um, somebody Capricorn, somebody was doing dark magic on y'all, and spirit is give is telling you to start doing research on dark magic. Not to do, not to practice, but just to, to get the knowledge of what this person did to you. So this could be some, um, now is a good time to begin some form of spiritual development. And I'm picking up, this is knowledge. Because somebody was doing dark magic on y'all. And um, Capricorn Spirit wants you to be aware. Spirit don't want you to practice the arts. He don't want you doing dark magic on nobody. He just wants you to have the knowledge of what this person did to you. And how they did it. Or something like that. Or something. So now is a good time to begin some form of spiritual development. This could be demonology. This could be uh, voodoo. Whatever. Spirit wants you to have the knowledge of something. Because somebody definitely did something to y'all. Or something like that. Or um, Capricorn, if you a man... Spirit wants you to comprehend something about women or females or something. It's spiritual. Something about females or something like that. I'm picking up like don't fear something but respect it. You don't have to fear it but respect something. So this could be dark magic or like uh, females, women or something like that. Spirit wants you to have an understanding about women. Why they behave a certain way or something like that. Or your wife or something like that. Capricorn or something. Some type of spiritual development. Or Capricorn, you might chill out and balance something. So y'all might start reading your Bible. Um, start like reading up on uh, dark magic or um, y'all might start begin something spiritual after dark hours tonight. Or get knowledge on what your offender did to you. Or something like that. So. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Capricorn, enjoy the night and thanks.